Hey guys, it's Matt from the Infinite Explorers and today we're at Meemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota. We have Mitch here. He's going to be taking us on a tour of the 2024 Arctic Fox 1150 truck camper. So this is actually the exact same model of camper that we use during our travels, but ours is a 2022 and these 2024s have some very cool upgrades. So let's start the tour. <laughs> yeah, so starting up here in the front corner, um, all of the Arctic Fox truck campers, they're still going to come standard with the Ryko Titan uh, jack system that's operated by a remote, um, a wireless remote, which is really nice and convenient. Um, you're going to have a six gallon suburban water heater that'll run on propane or electricity. Um, got your battery compartment in the driver front here. Um, that'll fit up to 31 group batteries. Um, so plenty of room in there for two batteries. Um, a bunch of your water connections are going to be underneath um, down here, so like your city water connection and your black tank flush. So the black tank flush is actually going to be, um, when you're draining your, uh, your waste water tanks, you can actually hook up a fresh water hose to that and it'll help clean out your black water tank, which is nice. Just got some plumbing access here. Um, storage down here, you've got a nice big storage compartment in there. It's going to come standard with two 30-pound propane tanks and an automatic changeover regulator. So when one tank is empty, it automatically switches over to the other one. Down in the bottom corner, you do have a light um, in this compartment up there. And that's just going to be access to a lot of your water drains and some wiring and things like that. Uh, moving around to the back, you do have a power awning with an LED light strip. Um, so when the awning is fully extended, the light strip is actually on the metal tube of the awning. And one cool thing about the awning is that can actually be controlled off of the same remote that operates your uh, leveling jacks, as well as the slide out. The slide out can also be operated off of that remote. Um, this unit does have the optional Fox Landing rear step. So this actually just folds up, the spot of step folds up and then the whole thing folds and locks for travel. So that gives you a nice few steps up into the camper, whereas standard it just comes with one step that hangs down. Um, as a factory option, this 1150 does have the 2500 watt uh, Onan Cummins generator. That's going to operate off of propane. It's going to use your 30 pound tanks that are attached on the trailer or on the camper. Um, so that'll power things like the air conditioner, microwave, all 110 volt stuff in the camper. Um, here you've got an access door to the slide out mechanism. So these slide outs are very reliable, but if you ever did have problems, you can get to the motor here and manually um, extend and retract it. You do have a ladder up to the roof. So it is a full walk-on roof, so you can get up there and do any sort of maintenance you need to do. Um, one cool thing about uh, the new Arctic Fox truck campers is they are coming with a new solar package. So what's going to be included in that is it's going to be 400 watts of solar in the form of two 200 watt solar panels. Um, they are also wired. You can add more solar in addition to that. And then it comes with an upgraded solar charge controller. Um, to accompany that, these are going to have a 12-volt refrigerator, which we'll show on the inside. But that's one big change, and that's going to come standard on all of the Arctic Fox truck campers. Uh, lastly, on the back here, you do have a mount for a Furion observation camera. That is a new change for the 2024s before um, they didn't come with any sort of mount like that. So now installing an observation camera is made really simple. Coming around to the passenger side, you've obviously got the big slide out on this side with some more storage. Um, this model does have the optional slide topper awning over the slide out to help keep sticks and debris and other things off of the slide out, which is really nice. Um, lastly, one of the big changes for 2024 on the Arctic Fox truck campers is a molded fiberglass front cap. So whereas before, it was just the phylon material um, that extended the whole front of the camper. Now it's got the nice fiberglass front cap, which really gives it a nice finished look. So 
So here we are on the inside of the 1150. Um, one major benefit to the 1150 is you do get the full dry bath, meaning that the, the shower and the toilet are separate. Um, you get that in both the 1150 and the 1140 given the larger size. You are going to have an exhaust fan in the bathroom, shower curtain, all that good stuff. Um, when you first walk into the camper, also down to the left, you're going to have an entry light switch. You're going to have the switch for your slide out down here, which again, that can be operated um, off of the remote for your Ryko Titan jacks, which is right here. Um, on the right, as you walk in, you're going to have your dinette seating. Um, so this does fold down into additional sleeping. There's actually just a lever underneath here that you flip out of the way and this whole table will push down. You just pull your cushions out of the way and that'll fold down into a bed. This 2024 is going to have some of the newer colors. So instead of like the browns and tans that Arctic Fox has done for a long time, they're going more to grays and whites and things like that to kind of give it a more modern look. So that's a nice change. One of the biggest changes on the new uh, Arctic Fox truck campers is going to be the 12 volt fridge that's going to come standard. So one of the benefits of the 12 volt fridge is how large it is compared to the traditional absorption refrigerators. These are also going to cool down a lot quicker. Um, your traditional two way refrigerators, you know, you maybe had to leave them on, you know, overnight or 24 hours before they were totally cool. These 12 volt refrigerators, um, they're cool within an hour and they have been very reliable. We've rarely had complaints about, um, you know, losing battery power, they're actually quite efficient. So we've been really happy with that. Um, given that this is the 1150, you do have some nice big storage next to the refrigerator that you kind of get with the extra, the extra length of the camper. And then opposite of the refrigerator, you've got the rest of your kitchen. So you've got your three burner stove top and uh, oven. Um, microwave up top, it's just a regular microwave, not a convection. Um, you do have a fan and a light in the hood here, as well as your main kitchen light switch on a dimmer. Um, you're going to have your sink in the corner. They've kind of updated their faucets and things like that to give it a more modern look. You're still going to get your stereo that has AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, things like that. Thermostat's going to be over here. Um, they do have um, a max air fan up in the bedroom and instead of, uh, they've, they've switched to the style that uses a remote. So you've got a remote down here to operate the fan instead of having to crawl up into the bed to operate it if you're not actually sleeping. And then you've got your control panel in the corner here. So that's got things like your water heater switches and water pump. You can start and stop the generator from the control panel there, which is nice. And then up in the bedroom area, um, you know, it comes with a queen size mattress. Your solar charge controller for the upgraded solar is actually going to be up in the driver front corner in that cabinet. Um, super easy to program. And that all comes pre-wired from the factory. You do have, uh, all the mounts and everything for a TV. Um, the camper can accommodate up to a 32 inch TV, which is nice. All right. And then as you're standing in the kitchen area up top, you do have a big skylight. Um, gives you a nice view of outside. You can shut that. It does have a blind that just pulls across, which is really nice. And then you do have a nice big sink with the chrome finish. It gives it a really nice sleek look. Plenty of room for doing dishes and things like that.